Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub Sir, and welcome back to Nino Kuni 2. We've made it to King's Cradle, however. It turns out there's a real bossy statue there. Make us go through some rather unsavory trials in order to get to where we want to go. I'm not really liking this benevolent statue. It sounds like a bit of an arsehole. Was it benevolent or malevolent? I don't know. It's an arsehole anyway. So let's open the book and see what we have to do. Um, once upon a time, the world was ruled over by an evil dragon possessed of a terrible power. A little boy from a little village determined to rid the world of the dragon's misery and bring happiness back to all, set out to defeat the beast. Now, is this a tie into Nino Kuni? Uh, I did mention in my first episode that I never played that one, and so I'm going to be a bit gutted if these references go over my head. At his touch, the magic wand handed down by the people of his village stirred to life, and thus he was granted the power of sorcery. Drawn by the call of the wand, a fairy came to the boy and befriended him. Together, the two of them set out on a great journey to save the world. Okay. Sounds fun. Um, so... Right, okay, bonus orbs. When the trial begins, you'll notice some orbs floating above certain squares. You don't have to collect these, but if you do, you can earn bonus points at the end. Now, what do we get for bonus points? Right, so... Oh, fuck. Let me reread the chapter. So, there's a little boy first, a magic wand. Okay, right, so basically, because I haven't really explained what we have to do... We gotta do the order of the story, so we need to go to the little boy, um, to the wand, to the fairy, but we can't touch the same block twice. So that would mean, all right, all right, I'm gonna try and get these bonus orb things. Yes, okay, okay. And then do we have to make it to the door as well? I'm gonna read the chapter one more time. Boy, magic wand, fairy. Now if I'm on orbs, then I've gotta do it like this. Yeah done that. Good, good, good. And then we go and take them scrumptious orbs. Look delicious. And and then what was it? It was wand, wasn't it? Oh, fuck. But here could be where we mess up. Unless... Oh, shit. I've messed up big time. Oh, fuck this. I might as well jump off the edge. How do we reset the chapter? <laughs> Let me out. Uh, Restart. There we go. Yes. Fuck off. It's more confusing than it looks. Yes, come on now, Evan. Stop being such a sack. Um, so you need to go where the circle is. Alright, alright. Now, I think we can do this again. But this time... <laughs> God damn it. I feel like an idiot. Maybe fuck the orbs. How are you meant to know what way this thing's meant to face? Where does it specify that at all? Alright, we've gone over here. Oh, it fucking did it. Okay. No idea what happened there, and uh, <laughs> I'm getting a little bit embarrassed at how hard I found this. But I want to take that orb and finish the chapter one. Oh, thank God. You've reached the end of the chapter, move on to the next. Yes, I, I forgot a bonus orb. Fuck it. I really don't care about the orbs now. Together, the two of them set out on a great journey to save the world. Nice, you've chosen the right path. Brilliant. We've got some sore away. I'm guessing all the bonus orbs will give us more items. Probably. Yes. Well done. Now this could be quite grueling. Um, I only spun it around twice and I have no idea. Okay, so let me try and think if that makes any sense now. For some reason, it had to be facing that way, but I don't know. Maybe someone can explain it to me, because I think I'm too thick skull to be king. As long as we can get Evan to end this trial, that's all we need to do. Oh god, the trial of knowledge isn't over yet. This looks, this looks really hideous, this one. Right, guided by his friend the fairy, the boy roams the land and gathers together a band of faithful companions. The first was a kind-hearted harpist. Okay, so harp, whose magical melodies could soothe even the fire of soul. The second was a brave pistolia. Pistolier? Probably. Pistolier. Ever ready to help his friends through any hardship they might face on their quest. The third was a wise wizard, who took the boy as his apprentice and taught him all he knew of the ways of magic. His party of heroes thus assembled, the boy found the courage to at last to face the monsters that troubled the world, and so he set his companions out to find battle wherever they might be found. Okay, this book's a little bit boring. I'd rather um, have it in audio form, I think. Maybe narrated by Stephen Fry. Could be better. Uh, reread the chapter. We'll go harpist first. Now, the harpist. There's the boy. Now, oh, here's the harpist. What's up, harpist? And then the pistolier? Oh fuck, I don't know if this is good enough for us. Um, oh maybe. What's up, your pistol sack? And then it was the flutist? No, wizard. <laughs> there was never a mention of a flutist, was there? Um, oh god, oh god, and I'm guessing this is going to be facing the wrong way. 
but how many times do we turn it? Where's the clue? We'll turn it that way. Oh, wait, it did say when I first came down here, they all need to be facing different ways, didn't it? That's at the end of the last episode, I think, which is where I'm probably messing up. But maybe... Oh, but... Oh, shit, maybe not. Kind of tempted to spin the boy around. Shit, I don't know if that's going to work out. We're going to have to just luck our way through this. Nope, okay. But it's actually to be facing the wrong way. Yeah, what's, what's the rules on the ways they face again? Ugh. I really don't know. I'm going to try and take a clue in the chapter because I can't remember the rules, but it says the boy faced the monsters or something. So maybe that would work. Let's try this. They're facing each other. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, a bit of common sense. And we've got all the orbs in that one, so let's see what we get for taking all of them. You've reached the end of the chapter. Move on to the next. Yeah, but give me some stuff. And so he and his companions set out to battle them wherever they might be found. Yeah, we know that. Chosen the right path. Oh, we've just got some more sick sensor. Okay. Some more free leaf saw away. It's all good. We've got tons of that. Oh, we've got a Warlock's Wand, though. Yes! Fuck yeah. Well done, Evan. I think there's another chapter, which uh, worries me a little bit. Maybe the clue of where they face is in the actual text. And I just really wasn't being uh, um, as observant as I need to be. But uh, please, we've done that last bit. wonder if this will be the last part of the trial. I fucking hope so. I can't say it. I'm enjoying this. But... The evil dragon who ruled over the world could not be defeated until the four towers emitting the evil aura that protected him had been destroyed. The first tower looming in front of him, the wizard laid it low with a mighty spell. So, wizard first. Okay. And the second was close by the pistolier who carefully took aim and felled it with a single shot. Yep. The third was sent toppling when the harpist turned to the soldier. Wait, the third was sent toppling when the harpist turned to the soldier and spread on with her songs. Okay. Oh my god, it's so long. The fourth tower, which stood in front of the fairy was flattened when he ran into it head first as fast as he could. His tail was gone, the dragon was vulnerable at last, and the final battle began in earnest. As the fight between them raged, the boy spied his chance when the dragon turned to face him and let loose the legendary spell Mornstar. It struck the dragon and fell down dead. Last the world was saved and all lived happily ever after. Jesus Christ, that's like a... That's quite the chapter we read there. My God. And it was a little bit more entertaining than maybe reading the Thesaurus. Of course the boy would end victorious. So it was the heart player first, yeah, okay. But you also know we've got to turn this dude to the boy. So we can do that already. Aha, uh -huh, good, because then it opens a path. So, I might have to say fuck the orbs. Um, the, the, the heart, oh no, no, wait, is that right? Oh, it was the wizard first, wasn't it, okay. And then what was it? The, the the pistolier. Okay, okay, okay. So that means we would run over here to the pistolier, who would then turn and face the tower. No, not not me, not the abyss. Face the tower and hit it. Yes, that's good. Oh fuck yeah, get out! Of it. Oh no, what does this turn? Shit, is this more dragon turning? Spin it. Oh, it is. We may have messed up a little bit. That's fine. So we go over here, and then the next bit was when the harpy lady spoke to the warrior. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to start again. Shit, wrong button. Um, the harp lady turned to the soldier and spurred him on with her songs. Okay, what did she play? I think she done, like, Californication by Red Hot Chili Peppers on her harp. That would spur me on, perhaps. What's the little grey thing next to her there? Um... Hmm. Right, what's the best way to go? It must be this way, surely. What are you? Right, we'll turn it. Ah, oh, fuck. This is the wrong way. I've bollocksed it. It's over. Might as well give up. Shit on it. Oh, that was wrong anyway. Oh, no, because she's facing the tower, not the... Not the, not the uh, soldier. All right, I'll get back to you. I'm going to suss this out soon. Don't worry. Okay, I think I'm on the right track. I'm about to take on the third tower again. This is incredibly more complex than I first thought. The main issue comes from getting stuck around this area. I do a loop and I get stuck, but I think I figured it out. The, the main platform in the middle, you have to turn it all the time. And um, I don't think I'm well equipped for this, but if I remember rightly, we need to get the harpist to turn to the swordsman. Round you go. Have I done it right? Yeah, I think I've got an exit route planned. So she turns there. He can ponder on the hilt of his sword and then destroy the tower. Is that a, a wham rat thing? Okay, whatever, not the time. Oh, we could also be a bit cheeky and take an orb. Why not? 
Okay, so then we go here. Spin the tower around. Because we need to leave that clear for the boy. The dragon is not facing the boy yet, so remember that. Down here we go. And we go across. Now, this bit, we go there. We need to go to the fairy now. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay, now. The bit I'm struggling with is what is the front of the fairy? Fuck it, we'll go to this orb as well. What is the front of the fairy? The lantern would be the front of the fairy, right? Surely. I haven't got this far yet, so we're going to take a chance. Smash that tower. Yes. Okay, beautiful. And now, all we have to do, if I'm right, is turn the dragon all the way around so you face this young boy. That's definitely the lad from the first game. You can tell by his uh, big nose. I don't know. Right, he's facing him. Take him out, boy. Fuck yes. It's done. Oh, we did it. I can't believe it. And we got a couple of orbs. We did miss one, though. I don't give a shit. That was, uh, that was horrible. That was worse than Sudoku. You've reached the end of the chapter. Move on to the next. No, what? You're telling me there's more? I don't want to do any more. As the fuck between them raged, the boy spied his chance. Oh, yeah, there's all stuff in the book. You know this. You know what happened here. Right in his forehead. Happily ever after. Nice. Some more saw away. Just what we needed. A sage's secret. Now, that sounds quite interesting. The knowledge is proven. Awesome. Thank you, statue. And let's get out of here. Whoa. Yes. You're done here. Evan, never speak of this again. I spent far too long on that. I'd rather have like a combat challenge or something. Right, what's next? How many trials was there? The statue say was there three? Whoa! That's an angry looking teacup. Or is it a bowl? <laughs> Where am I? I don't know, but it's so freaky. It's awfully high up. The trial of courage awaits. Go for. Draw thy sword, vanquish the foe before thee. Okay, here we go. What did I say? A combat challenge. Ask and we shall receive, I guess. Oh, okay, we've got the higgledy fucks with us. Brilliant. Is that a save point? I believe it is. Definitely got to save, because I never want to do anything like that ever again. Save your progress. Yes, please. Okay. It all came down to just... Uh, I think what threw me off is that I was taking huge notice of the colours of the words in the text. And you also need to read between the lines and work out what way they're facing. Mm. And I wasn't getting that part. It is an arena indeed. Damn, it's going to be quite a grand battle. I'm ready for it. I'm so ready. Is it a boss? I'll take a boss. Oh, what is it? It's hairy. I bet it's hair. Oh, mm, it has hair. Not necessarily hairy. Fog. Monstrally muscled metal teaser. Or tester. Was it? Oh, Mog. Fuck off. Not Mog. Fog. Yes, you don't like that, do you, Fog? <laughs> oh, we should have. Really should have parried there. Right, any Higgledies want to help out? Oh fuck, he's gonna throw. Oh, we're only taking two damage. You can clap your hands all you want, Fog. It won't help you. Yes, you're not alone at all. Let's use the skill on him. Oh, he's gonna drop. He's gonna drop so easily. I think a Higgledy's ready to fuck shit up. Yes, this one. I like this Higgledy. I do. What's he charging up for? Nothing good. Oh, we leveled up, taking out Fog. Hell yeah. Because you know Fog backwards has just got, and we got his ass. You obtained a pair of boss's boots. Yes. Gimme. Is there more? Evan. We did it, Tanny. You did it. Yes, we did, Roland. Thank you. I did. All right, okay. Come on, can we stop stating obvious? Let's move this on. What's the statue got to say about all this? Okay, just stares at us in silence. Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum, <laughs> thou hast proven thyself worthy. A kingmaker shall be thy. Well done, Evan. You couldn't have done it without me. <sighs> Whoa, okay. What is this? Looks like the sun is about to hatch. The hell is that? <laughs> what on earth? Who took a chromosome off Lisa Simpson? <laughs> what? Was that a Geordie accent? What's with this little guy? Is he a monster? I'm sorry, I can't just get over how someone's like melted a figure of Lisa Simpson. It's it's awesome. I mean, it's it's the most easiest comparison to make. 
There's no sort of uh, intellect in that comparison. But it really does look like a proper derpy Lisa. Oh, that cheek! Lofty. It's called Lofty. And I don't think it's Geordie. Okay. Oh, that's charming, that is. Monster indeed. I'm your flipping kingmaker, ain't I? Oh, no. What? The kingmaker's meant to be big and huge, like a dragon. We saw the other one. It was awesome, like the deer with wings. God, you don't look half know how to hurt a bloke's feelings. <laughs> Hello. So you're my kingmaker? Oh, for fuck's sake. We pulled the short straw here. Lofty. His name's Lofty. That's right, man. No, I think it is a weird hybrid of Geordie and someone who doesn't know how to do a Geordie accent. Okay, that I am Sunshine. Name's Lofty. Lovely to meet you all and that. I can't do Geordie either, so we're not going to go there. So, Evan passed the trial with um, flying colours, it looks like. <laughs> Which means he can become king again, right? You went wrong there. It does indeed. You have my full permission to rule over a realm of your very own. Uh... He has no teeth either. He looks a bit like Dustin from Stranger, from Stranger Things then. Which is a good thing. It's very cute. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry if I seem ungrateful. It's just I was expecting someone someone grander. Okay. Cool, step me in the heart, why don't you? The nerve. I'll have you know I could look very grand indeed when I have a mind to. Uh, not at the moment, like, but anyway. It's time to make our bond official. You got anything on you we can use to swear a pact over? You have become a sacred treasure of your kingdom, so don't go giving me weapons all cakes or monster blood or anything like that, you hear? Oh, of course, uh, I completely forgot. Um, it sounds as if my sword and wand won't do. Uh, let, let me see. What have we got? An old tissue, maybe? A stone? Little boys have stones in their pockets, don't they? Come on, man. <laughs> I haven't got all day. Oh. What is it? What about this stick? Hang on, what the fuck? Would he... What's with the stick? Tidy. Right, let's... Hang on, hang on. A stick! He wants to make the sacred bond over a flipping stick. You're a one, you are. Well, can't be helped, I suppose. Looks like a nice, sturdy one, at least. Mm. Yeah. Okay, your goes. Hold up the royal twig. This should be interesting. It's been imbued with something. Isn't this just, in effect, a wand? He said I can't give you my sword or my wand. Yes, beautiful. Right -o. My turn. Wait, is, is he Welsh? Oh, this is going to be good. A weird magical slash puppy. Yes, we're entwined. You part of me now, Lofty. <laughs> Oh, he's Welsh. <laughs> he is Welsh. <laughs> I now pronounce us king and kingmaker. May the king's bond that now binds us remain thick and lustrous till death do us part. Huh. Right, so we're sort of married without none of the good parts. A king's bond, huh? It doesn't look very thick to me. Yeah, we need it extra thick, please, Lofty. Crikey. Well, I've only just made it, ain't I? <laughs> <laughs> when Evan Bayou's kingdom... Wait, hang on. I can't even read what he says. When Evan Bayou's kingdom gets going, it'll soon fatten up. Then we'd better start building our kingdom right away. That's the spirit, man. <laughs> Flip! I almost forgot. I've got something else amazing to give you, ain't I? Something amazing? That's right, man. You've got a load of this little beauty. Oh, God. You obtained the tactic tweaker. Okay. What is it? Some kind of stone tablet? No, man. We're not going to go mun anymore. Just some kind of stone tablet. A stone tablet containing the almighty power of me and your kingmaker. And I'm trying not to hiccup. I don't think Lofty's meant to be hiccuping. Or, as I like to call it, the tactic tweaker. Right, just as Lofty says, the tweaker is a very special stone tablet. It can have all kinds of interesting effects on how you do battle. You can access it from the main menu. Okay. If you can get it set just right, every battle you come across will be a breeze, man. But it has already. Just so you know, we have no idea what you're on about. <laughs> Fine. We'll just have a fiddle round with it and end it. You'll soon figure out what's what. Alright. Alright, we've done what we came here to do. Let's get back to the Sky Pirate's base. Yes, that's. Can't we get Lofty a set of dentures? That gumbler smile is scaring me a little bit. 
or toothless rather, he definitely has gum, a whole lot of gum. Talk about refreshing breeze, there's bracing. Alright, let's go and let the boss know we're back. <laughs> Come on Lofty, you're of us now buddy. Can we hug you? You look very huggable. Alright, so everyone leveled up. Well, we can push you around, yeah we're bigger than you. You do our bidding, we're going to be a king bully. <laughs> Move out of our way, give us your lunch money Lofty. Right, um, I'm going to equip some stuff that we got. What was it? It was a wand, wasn't it? The Warlock wand, fuck yeah, 36. Wait, 31. And it's some shoes, didn't you get some shoes? Bosses, choppy bosses boots. Nice, oh that's a great, great improvement. Okay, then maybe we can give Roland the new shoes. Yeah, why not? I like the look of that. And I think we learned some skills, didn't we? Let's have a look at the skills. Um, and we do that via here. Flo oh, it wasn't him. It was Roland who learned a skill. Or was it Tanny? Let's go up. Circular sword. Oh, yeah. She learned burrowing bolt. Sends arrows smashing to foes so hard that they're sometimes stunned. All right. Awesome. Should we go talk to the, the big daddy pirate? That's just a shop icon over there. We have to go up. We obtained a pebble. Beautiful. Okay, so he's going to be very impressed that we're back and without being killed or anything. It should be awesome. Ahoy there. You made it back in one piece then, eh, lad? And by the look on your face, you didn't come home empty-handed. No, this is my kingmaker, Lofty. Ah, is it indeed? Oh my god. <laughs> is there anything getting through? Are you? Can you hear us, Lofty? He's a little... little, ain't he? Says you, shorty. Alright, you scurvy dogs. Make ready for a feast. These king-making swabs here deserve a celebration. <laughs> a feast, boss? Truly? Ah. Yar. Hell yeah, time to eat. I'm starving. Could we have turkey, that maybe? Night, the Sky Pirate celebrated Evan and his friend's success into the wee small hour. Did we get drunk? Did we wake up with a morning for the regrets? Evan was a fine young man indeed. And that he would make an even finer king. I come round quick, bloody hell. And then, the morning came. Oh my head! Who have we woken up, up next to, I wonder? Oh god, Tanny! Look, the sun's coming up! It's morning already? Gosh! Why are you so surprised at a sunrise? Beautiful, lovely landscapes. Evan, you mean to become king of this here world? Is that not so? Yes. Well, now there's a thing. I see something in you. Oh, <gasps> fuck off! The men of Cloud Coil Canyon do hereby swear fealty. Hell yeah! We serve you now, your Majesty. Now we can take on the Boltons at Winterfell. Oh, wait. Yes. So it was that the very Sky Pirates who had once sworn to take Evan's life now swore to devote their own lives to serving him. And with this fledgling following, he took his first steps on the long road to ruling the world. <laughs> that sounded quite evil. World domination? Is that what you're going for, Evan? Oh, nice. I'm happy, though. We've got a fucking band of Sky Pirates. Oh, this kid again. You seem pleased. Yeah, of course. How can we not be? We got a kingmaker. We got some pirates behind our backs. It's all good, dude. I am. It all happened just as you said it would. I met lots of new people, and made lots of new friends. Perhaps I really can keep my promise to Nella. I reckon you can, dude. <laughs> so you really are going to rule the world, then? You don't do things by halves, do you? No, man. All or nothing. But building a kingdom is hard work. And building a great kingdom is even harder. It's not going to be easy. I, I know that. But I'm going to try. I have to. Where do we even start? Spoken like a true leader. You'll be meeting a lot more people soon, Evan. You have to listen to them. All of them. And you have to remember the things they tell you. Yeah, no problem. We'll take notes. It will make you a better king. I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Sorry, I'm talking as if I know everything again. 
But I'm right, I think. I trust the person who taught me all of this more than anyone else in the world. And so should you. Yeah, sure. There's nothing suspicious about you, I've got to admit. Until next time, Evan. Goodbye. See you later, buddy. But... Oh, he's pissed off again. Now, what are these dreams? Are we actually being teleported? Save your progress, hell yeah. We're going to save it there. Perfect. I guess we're starting, like, chapter two now or something. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll leave it... No, I won't. I'll wait a bit more. What have we got coming up? Well, there's us signed up for a life, life of servitude. But we can't very well up sticks and have every man, woman, and child among us set out after a king. We don't even have a kingdom yet. It's very true, Batu. Yeah. yeah, and we can't just run off and leave the base empty either. Huh. Oi. What are you two talking about? Oh, we were just discussing the fact that we'll need to look for a subtle, suitable place of empty land if we're to start building our new kingdom. Do you know somewhere? Ah, oh, now that would be an awful pain in the neck, won't it? Well, you could just raid a village somewhere. Start out with that as your base, and no, we're not pirates. Understand? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's laughs better than mine. All right, all right, keep your hair on. Old Batsy was just having a bit of fun with ye. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Anyway, if we're going to build a kingdom, we're going to need a good spot. Location is everything. Oh, look at Roland's face. Talk about serious. That's because we're having a serious conversation. <laughs> but I suppose he does look a little stern. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh my fucking god, I can't do these stupid noises. Hee hee. <laughs> a new nation is like a tiny defenseless animal, by which I mean it's liable to be swallowed by the first predator that comes along. The only way for it to grow is to put itself somewhere out of harm's way, anywhere else, and you'll be overrun before you know it. So, what kind of place do we need to look for then? Some place difficult to invade for sure, and with plenty of natural resources. If you've got both, you've got a chance. Some place like... Where? Here. On the coast, by some streams? Evan and his motley crew of would-be kingdom builders turned their gaze eastward to the heartlands. These verdant plains were as yet unclaimed by any nation. But would they prove a fitting place for Evan's promised kingdom? It looks fine to me, it's just like starting a game of Civ. Chapter 3. The Town That Tempted Fate. Ooh, okay. Sounds like a good chapter. Right, I think, as we started chapter 3, we might want to end this one here. Uh, it's been fun. I'm really glad we got our Kingmaker, even if it is the little ball of a yellow shit known as Lofty. Um, but yeah, we're making progression. I think we're going to start a kingdom next. That sounds fun. So if you enjoyed this episode of Nino Kuni 2, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps out a great deal, and I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more, we're going to crack on with chapter 3, see if we can make our way to the heartlands, and uh, put down our flag, start a new kingdom. Please go ahead and subscribe. We can bring that to you. If you have any questions you want to raise, what do you think of Lofty? A strange little thing, isn't he? But it could be quite a good character. Um, if you know what his accent's meant to be, and what it's meant to be, please tell me. <laughs> I'd love to know. I think it's Welsh. Um, anyway, yeah, leave a comment below and I'll make sure I'll get back to you. Alright, see you!